What's up guys, Chinzo here. So as most of you guys might already know, I spent a good part of last week cleaning and repairing and accessorizing this travel trailer. But today I'm gonna jump into a project that I think is long overdue. This trailer is a 2018 model and I have reason to believe that the awning on this thing has never been clean. Not even once from the looks of it. But I did just finish clearing some branches right next to the trailer. So I can go ahead and get this thing rolled out and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. The product I'll be using today is called Totally Awesome. It came highly recommended by many in the RV community. There are several different options out there, but this one just happened to be one of the cheapest and it was actually pretty easy to come by. I just uh, drove down to Family Dollar and I picked it up. I think it cost about five or six bucks, but I'm done rambling for now. I just want to see this on and clean. So let's hope this product works as good as everyone on the internet says it does. And let's do it. The supply list includes a large concentrated bottle of LA's Totally Awesome, the spray bottle that I use mostly for measurements, and a two gallon pump sprayer that made applying the product much more efficient. I also picked up a scrubber with a soft surface, as well as a bristly one for those tougher stains. Gloves and eye protection are also probably a good idea. I used a water to product mix ratio of five to one and gave it a good mix. What I did next is something that I definitely do not recommend. Out of pure reflex, I grabbed the water hose and gave the awning a quick pre-soak. This turned out to be a bonehead move and it prevented the product from adhering properly. But I went ahead with the application anyway, knowing that I would probably have to repeat the process. So I'm gonna let that soak. I'll see you guys in about 45 minutes. I close the awning and let it sit for about 45 minutes. The results were about what I'd expected as the product was not allowed to adhere properly. So I let it dry and gave it another shot the next day. All right, so it's day two and I'm gonna go ahead and take another swing at this. We'll consider yesterday's wash a pre-wash because it was kind of dumb of me to try to wash this thing while it was wet or for me to try to apply the product while it was wet and it all just kind of dripped back onto my face. So obviously there's still some stains there. So today I'm gonna apply the product while it's dry, give it another scrub and a wash, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's do it. I repeated the entire process on day two, and it went much smoother. The product worked as advertised, and with a bit of elbow grease, it removed a few years worth of mold and mildew stains. However, I'll mention that I did have to do a fair amount of scrubbing, so if you're looking for something that'll simply melt away all of these stains, you might want to shop for something stronger. I'll also mention that I wasn't able to scrub away all of the stains, but I was able to get rid of most of them. Although the awning did not come out 100% clean, it was still a dramatic improvement and very much worth the effort. All right guys, so here's the final result. I would call this a success. I didn't get out every single stain, but I got out most of them and I think it actually looks pretty good. All right, so overall, I think that actually went pretty well. I did have to do the entire process twice over, but I do think the awning came out looking much better for it. There definitely was a lot more scrubbing and elbow grease going into this project than I thought there was going to be. From a lot of the videos that I saw, it kind of looked like you just apply the product and all the mold and mildew just kind of magically melts away. That wasn't the case in my experience. Maybe for some awnings in some situations, that is the case, but for me, it definitely took a lot of work and a lot of elbow grease and a lot of scrubbing. So that's just something to keep in mind. If I was ever in this situation again, I do think I would probably go with a product that was made specifically for awnings and something with a bit stronger chemicals. Because as you probably saw earlier, despite my best efforts and despite all the scrubbing I did, there are still some stubborn mold stains just kind of hanging out and lingering around. But for now, I think the improvement on this one was pretty dramatic and the awning looks a lot better. So for that reason, I will say that this product got the job done and this was a successful project. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there, guys. As always, thanks for watching, stay stoked, and I'll see you in the next one.